Hey guys, welcome back to Whiskey Blooded. My name is Dave. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Um, as you may notice, this is a different setup than we normally have. I've done this before uh, and in the past where when I can't use my normal shooting room and my normal camera, um, I result just to my PC and a webcam. So that's what we're doing here today in my office. So I hope you guys enjoy the change of scenery. Um, we have a new baby due on Monday via C-section, so we already know the date. And it's that room and, and where I normally shoot is gonna be a little hard to do for probably a couple months. Um, so I'll probably be doing these webcam videos and maybe a, a couple different locations with the other camera here over the next couple weeks or months. Um, so thank you for the change. I, a little bit of a different format here today. It'll just be a little bit faster and easier to shoot if we just run right into our bottle and just go through what I think of it. So I wanted to follow up the last video with a new bottle that you guys are seeing out there. And this is the new bottle. Uh, it is Old Forester Statesman 95 Proof. So this is released for the Statesman movie. Obviously check that movie out. I haven't checked out the movie yet, but I have obviously checked out the bottle. So this is Old Forester's newest bottle. It is the Statesman bottle. It runs $55 here in Michigan. It's a 95 proof. It looked, uh, the bottle styling itself is the same um, bottle, uh, what do you call that, figure as the other ones in the Whiskey Row series. This is a 95 proof Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Um, I'm gonna read you this bottle and then we'll jump into it. So here's the tag. It's Statesman, Kingsman, the Golden Circle. This is the Statesman bourbon uh, for exclusively for this movie. And I'll read you the label. As a token of our appreciation and our long-standing relationship, please accept this rare Old Forester Statesman Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Aged in the warmest parts of our warehouse, Old Forester Statesman has a rich and dynamic profile and represents the finest we have to offer. We like it best served neat. And then it says to Kingsman, London, England, from Statesman, Louisville, Kentucky, uh, we have long been proud of the values we both share. United we stand, divided we fall. So it's kind of neat. You know, it's like definitely for the movie. Um, and then there's some notes on the back. Notes on the back are, I'll do like this. This will be better. This whiskey is distilled by us only, and we are responsible for its richness and fi fine quality. Its elegant flavor is solely due to original fineness developed with care. There is nothing better in the market. Okay, it's 95 proof as we talked about. So what do I know about this one? It's a younger bourbon from what I've been reading and it's pulled from higher up in the, sorry, there's a window right there. So there's some weird glare. Um, it's pulled from higher up in the, in the warehouse. So we've heard other distillers talk about this in the past that for younger whiskeys, they like things that are higher up in their warehouse and for older whiskeys, they like things that are lower. Um, that's, you know, maybe just something to do with the uh, character profiles or how they evaporate or they age or how they keep over time. So interesting. So let's actually try it. As you can see, I've gotten through a little bit of this bottle already. So let's pour ourselves some cheers to a new whiskey review. Shout out to one of our new um, viewers or maybe old viewers he didn't say one of our loyal viewers made us some new made us a cover for the whiskey blooded YouTube channel and he didn't want me to give him any specific shout outs I he didn't necessarily say he wanted to remain anonymous but anonymous but he didn't want any links or uh, anything directly to what he does in graphic design so thank you so much uh, loyal viewer you know who you are and uh, we now have a new we new have new channel art. So when you go to the Whiskey Blooded channel at the very top, you'll see a new logo courtesy of him. So thank you so much. That's one of the nicest things that you guys have done for, that you, someone has done for me. So here is the color on this one. And I'm not using paper today because I think you can see it pretty well. It's got this like r just on the border of reddish yellow to it. So it's definitely like an orangey copper color. And the smell on this one, you know, that's one thing I, I noticed about this and that I think I find a lot with the Old Forester. That's got a really pungent nose. Like I'm smelling a lot of cherry and vanilla. Like a lot of cherry, like toasted cherry and vanilla on this one. And it really is, um, you know, it's, it's, it really opens up on the nose. 
cherry, hot cherry, vanilla, and some oak spikes. So on the, the palette here, definitely some of that spice coming through. It's got this medium thickness. In the beginning, it does have like a spicy cherry, spicy cherry vanilla. And then after that, it's got this nice tingly caramel that builds into the middle. And it finishes with a little bit of like little unbalanced wood taste, maybe some from the younger age, some oak that I'm tasting, the toasted oak, but vanilla and some of the more um, prevalent fruit notes are coming through here at the end too. Like apple, like the cherry I had mentioned, but definitely some apple in the end here too. So it's got this kind of fruity, warm, fruity taste, overall like a warm, fruity taste, warm, spicy, fruity taste which I think as we talked about is from, you know, top of the warehouse warmer, as they had mentioned, which comes through with the warmer, you know, spicier, fruitier taste. Um, what do I think about it overall? So let's just jump right into the conclusion. You know, I think it's a good bourbon. I think that I'd go for what I reviewed last week that, or yeah, was that last week? Sorry, two, two reviews ago, I went through this best surprise whiskey the Old Forester, hang on. Yeah, let me grab it. The Old Forester 1920 puts this to shame for five more dollars. So we've got the Old Forester Statesman, this review, good, really good. So if I was going to tell someone which to buy, it's this one. It's a higher proof. It's better taste, more well balanced. This one, though, I feel like it's warmer, as I'd mentioned, with more fruit notes, a little more going on in the middle, I think. And the Prohibition style, the 1920, has got a better overall balanced, better, more traditional whiskey taste. So this is still cool. I like the bottle. I like the idea. I really like the partnership. That, I think, is one of the coolest things about these old Forester bourbons is that they're a little unique. And I do definitely like this one. I'm not going to break out the card because I don't have anything near me. But as far as the overall score goes for this one, I'm going to say like a, I'm going to give it like a 85. I think that's a, a pretty solid, you know, not excellent, but good whiskey. I'm going to say, I'm going to say about an 85 only because the other Old Forester products are so good right now. I mean, they really do blow this out of the water for a very, very similar price point. Um, but I like what's going on with this bourbon. I think it's a good proof and I think it's a cool concept. Um, it's just not as good as the other things in the Whiskey Row series. It's definitely not as good as the 1920. So I hope that gives you some insight into the old Forester Statesman. I would buy one. I would only buy one of these though. Um, I would buy one of these as just kind of, it, it is for what it is. It is a good overall whiskey, but it isn't anything that you can't find in other old Forester products. So I think this would probably be really good in a cocktail too, like an old fashioned with those warm fruit notes. I think this would actually be a really good like old fashioned drink. So I hope that gives you guys some insight into what I think about the old Forester Statesman. Let me know what you think. If you're seeing this around you, if it's hard to find, easy to find, I don't know, just talk to me below about what you think. Don't really have anything specific I want to talk about in the comment section other than what you think about this bottle. So I'll see you guys. Uh, I'm not sure when I'll see you next. I don't know if it's going to be next week, the week after things are a little hectic over here. So I'll see you guys on the next review. Not sure yet what we're doing. I'll keep trying to get that intermediate video up, the intermediate whiskey video. The problem with that video is that there's one bottle that I want to get that's become pretty hard to find that I want to put in that video. So I'm not sure if I want to shoot that video just without the bottle and maybe just like hold up a picture of it or a link to it or something, or if I actually want to procure the bottle and, and then put it into the video. So I'm still thinking on that one. We'll see what comes. Other than that, check out the new channel art, courtesy of our viewer, and I hope you guys are enjoying the channel. I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks so much for your time today. My name is Dave. I'm out of here.